Hi, this is Amanda from Psalm 139 Love, and I am here at our Psalm 139 Love ATC. Now, right next door, this is the brand new piece of property that we just bought. This is gonna be the property that's gonna be the community village. This is gonna be a place that's going to have uh, probably 15 to 20 homes is our idea. Uh, it's gonna be just for single moms that have been abandoned or elderly female widows. Our goal, actually I'll just make the video for here. Come across. Our goal here is to have one guest house. This will probably be more like a security guard a husband, wife, good godly couple. He will be the only man on the property. He could be someone that can guard. Obviously, there'll be a big gate that are, that's going to be behind. So this property is going to be used for God's glory. It's going to be used as a type of like a fellowship area for all these women that have been abandoned, that have been left behind, the elderly widows that don't have family. Coming down this way in the middle is probably where we're going to have a big community center. We want to put solar panels up. We'd like to have a really nice big cooking, cooking center. So all the ladies can, can, can congregate, be at one kitchen area. In the, in the middle area, we're going to have tables set up. We're going to bring down sewing machines so the women can learn how to sew. There is something that's always needed here in Haiti, and that's school uniforms. So we would really like to start a business for them uh, doing the school uniform. So coming down this way, It's such a beautiful, peaceful piece of property. Really nice, large upper plateau area. Plenty of space for kids to run around, be safe. We are planning on having a well because we want to have a community garden down on the world plateau. So I'm going to try to move as quickly as possible. The well is going to be right over here. It'll be nice because it's going to be off the path, so we were not going to have a lot of traffic coming to try to get water. We already fixed five wells in the village, so they don't need to come get water from us. But it's going to be perfect because then we can run irrigation lines down to the valley, which is where it kind of slopes off. We'll have a hand pump and electrical pump. Hand pump for the women to get their water and electrical pump with solar panels to water all that. Look at that big, beautiful area. We can have a beautiful garden. You can see to that kind of tree line in the middle, that's all of our property. And then there's a whole area on the other side. We could even have uh, goats over here goats are a great source of of income you can sell the goats for meat you can uh, sell goat milk so there's a lot that can be done here and more than anything these women they need a place to be together and they need a place to fellowship with one another there's nobody that actually offers grief counseling i'd love to bring down grief counselors as well and they also don't get any time without the children it's constant with like they have five or six children they're constantly busy so with a place like this they can be with other women and then they can say you know what can you watch my kids or they can just say hey the kids are going to be safe here it's going to be completely fenced in it's very safe and then they can go over to the gazebo at the farm and then we also wanted to build a prayer garden at the farm and they can just go over there and they can have some quiet time so that's what our goal is and i'm seeing more and more abandoned mothers they're coming up from Port-au-Prince. They're escaping the gangs. They're they're running, fleeing for their lives with no money, no nothing. Some of them got burned out of their homes. And they're coming up there, here and they have no jobs. And they're living in horrible living conditions. So this is a vision that God gave my husband, Paul. I've wanted this land for four years. I've been praying about it. I literally harassed the owner for four years. <laughs> and he said he'd never want to sell. There was a circumstance in the family that they had to sell the property and because i had been asking about it for so long they went ahead and asked us so this is a blessing from god you want to sow into this ministry there's a lot of things you can do whether it's a well a one two three bedroom house um the community center the kitchen there's a lot that needs to be done 
So you can go to Psalm139love.com or you can go to the Network for Good link or you know what, you can talk to us personally. We would love to come speak at your church. Um, if you know of anyone that uh, can write a grant, we could definitely use a grant. And we thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. We say bon dia, bene u. God bless you. God bless you. Bye.